Welcome to Phuket News TV and welcome to BIS Phuket where they're opening their brand new golf centre. They've got beautiful greens, they've got bunkers, they've got nets, uh, beautiful facilities where the students can learn golf in basically real time in beautifully prepared facilities and I mean these greens are really good. But you've got to open a facility like this so BISP have invited somebody a bit special, no more special in golf than Sir Nick Faldo. He has won six majors in the world. He's been a member of a Ryder Cup team on 11 occasions and uh, he's been a world number one golfer. A phenomenal record in a very, very psychological sport as I found out a little bit earlier. Uh, he's also here as the Laguna ambassador and I'd like to thank Laguna for um, being here this afternoon. <laughs> Mr. Nick Faldo, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, what brings you to Phuket? Well, I'm an ambassador with uh, Laguna, and um, so I've been on kind of a bit of a tour in Asia for the last couple of weeks. Now I was in uh, up in Mission Hills, China, with my series. My Faldo uh, series had an Asia Grand Final. I popped into Vietnam, another Laguna project there, my golf course, and again planning. We're going to host the grand final uh, next year in 17 and I swung by Cambodia yesterday to have a look at a design project I'm doing and I'm, then I'm here today and the next couple of days um, doing a bit of golf and stuff and chilling finally get a couple of days to get to the spa as well it's good more of Nick Faldo soon but to get an idea of the potential for a golf center like this one being opened at BIS Phuket you just have to look at the results of providing the facilities and the inspiration for youngsters. This is Mark. Maybe you're looking at a future world number one golfer. Mark, tell us uh, about your success in golf. So my current, current rank is first in Thailand in my age group and third in the world in my age group. That's astonishing. Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And how long have you been playing for? So I started playing golf when I was 8 and now I was 13, so 5 years, yeah. And how important is it to have a facility like this to help uh, youngsters you know, learn and practice their golf? So to have the short game area here, like it will be very good for you know the beginners and all level to professional and they save a lot of time too when you finish school you can practice here and you know when you have free time you can also practice here. So very good here, yeah, yeah. What are your ambitions uh, with your golf? What do you want to do? Number one? Um, I just want to be top 10 in the PGA Tour and in the world. So yeah, I'll try to do that. And when did you start getting this enthusiasm for golf? Uh, what, what age? Uh, about 10, I think, when I saw like my, you know, my, my idol, like 17 years old kid at, uh, Songkha, I like him very much, so I try to like work hard and try to be like him one day. Who's your favorite golfer in the world at the moment? Uh, Adam Scott. Yeah, okay. I like him. <laughs> oh, no second thoughts about that. Best of uh, luck with your future in golfing, and uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. It's Mark. A facility like this, uh, how important is it for schools to do things like this to get behind uh, the establishment of good golfers? Well, it, this is, I think this is pretty. It's an eye opener to me because obviously in America their opportunities are amazing. And you know, when I when I started as a lad uh, back in Britain, we didn't have sporting scholarships or, or anything like that. So you had to, you know, I left school. You had to leave school to pursue your your career. So to come to Phuket and uh, to see. Uh, yeah, a real sport and art predominant school with uh, you know 900 plus students and what. It's really impressive and obviously and very successful as well. When I hear of the um, what the golfers have been doing, what the tennis standard, the tennis, the standard of the swimming, um, yeah, I'm I'm very impressed by the whole the whole thing. What's a good age to start kids playing golf, and what are some tips you can give them? You know, 
golf we have fundamentals um, like any sport and if the better you do those and they're really boring when you're kickers everybody wants to pick a ball up a club at rubber and give it a whack yeah but if you can actually learn with some discipline you know the grip and the posture and alignment all sorts of things like that even if you're six eight ten uh, boys don't quite a, a little slower learners than the girls of course you know so maybe you know boys uh, switch on to other technical things I believe we're about 13 because you know I started exactly then 13 played my first round of golf when I was 14 so um, but you know the important thing is hey have fun and if you can if you can do the fundamentals you know really concentrate on how get somebody to check your grip and your alignment your posture better you can do it because that's what the best players in the world are still doing even when they're world number one they're still grinding on all our fundamentals. So Nick, just finally, uh, if you go to any golf course around Phuket any day of the week, there's lots of Japanese and Korean golfers. Why is the sport so massively popular in those particular countries? Well, it's always been very popular in Japan. I mean, I used to go there, wow, I hate to say, it's 30 plus years, 30, 40 years ago. You were very young at the time. Well, very young at the time, yeah. Um, and there's always been, they've always loved it, they've always been keen. But, you know, golf has expanded. Golf is a global sport now. It really is, thanks to television. I mean, you watch, you can get tournaments from all over the world being backwards and forwards and left and right across the planet. So, um, hey, golf's in a very good shape right now. I think it's, you know, what the pros are doing, uh, leading the way. I think Asian Asian golf uh, is very popular. I, so uh, I think we're, all in, we're in good shape as golfers. So, Nick, thank you very much for talking to us and sure. uh, thanks for coming to Phuket. Sure, pleasure. Enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for your time. Well, that's Sir Nick Faldo, and this is the brand new BISP Golf Centre. Uh, a really nice facility, and congratulations to everybody who's been involved. If you'd like to know some more about it, you go to bispuket.ac.th forward slash golf. You can't just come here as a member of the public, but you might like to enrol your kids. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. Phuket's authentic Indian cuisine has arrived to Bollywood Phuket Restaurant and Bar. Open 11 to 11 and close Tuesdays. Go to BollywoodPhuket.com.